ょ堀さん彼氏のお願いですここは教室に戻りましょうははい Top 10 Anime Jealous Moments Today, we'll be talking about the top 10 anime jealous moments. Brace yourself, the top 5 are very nostalgic. They'll definitely make you smile. Now, make sure you have pushed that like and subscribe button. Well, then, shall we begin? The first one on our list is. Number 10. Hirotaka is jealous, Narumi is so adorable. On the day of the event, as Hirotaka patiently waits for Narumi, it's only a matter of time before she shows up. They set their stall, and then Narumi continues to sell one copy after another with a cheerful smile on her face and a pleasant attitude. People couldn't help but get attracted to their stall. She continues to compliment them on whatever they do. She doesn't hold back, not even a bit. Meanwhile, Hirotaka is sitting by idly, and the more he sees Narumi complimenting others, the more annoyed he gets. In the end, he just gets up and leaves to have a smoke. Hirotaka was genuinely jealous. Watakoi is indeed a very wholesome anime, one that highlights how a relationship between two adult otakus would be. Number 9. Hori is not amused. Miyamura changes his look and goes from silent introvert to the most handsome looking fellow in his entire class the moment he enters his classroom. Hori is pleasantly surprised, but when other girls come over to Miyamura's desk and start questioning and complimenting him, trying to get close to him, Hori was seeing all of this. She suddenly lets out an extremely cold aura, which was just enough to get those girls out of Miyamura's table. There are plenty of other instances like this throughout the series where one character gets jealous because of the other, or someone, trying to get close to the person they love. <laughs> Number 8. Chizuru watches from a distance. As Kazuya is walking in his college, a familiar face shows up. It's Ruka, and she is here to meet her beloved senpai. Kazuya instantly takes her away from the crowd. He tells her that she shouldn't come to his college, but after a fair response, she suddenly grabs his arm and asks him to go out with her for a movie. However, Chizuru was watching them both from a distance through a window, and despite not knowing it herself, her heart was acting up. She knew she doesn't like this situation. It was a brilliant display of unspoken jealousy, considering how Chizuru was never aware that she likes Kazuya. Number 7. Yuraraka gets jealous of Hatsume. Deku realizes that he must get his costume redesigned if he wants to fight with his legs more efficiently, and so he goes to the school's development studio. Coincidentally, both Yuraka as well as Lida show up too. Yuraraka greets Deku, and Deku tries to greet her back when the door suddenly explodes. Deku is sent flying, and when the smoke clears, Yuraka can clearly see Hatsume lying over Deku's body. While Hatsume herself isn't surprised despite the fact that her chest is literally all over another student's body, both Deku and Yuraraka almost pass out. One because of the awkwardness and the other because of jealousy. Number 6. Yotsuba one-ups her sister. As both Fuutaro and his sister are trying to solve a puzzle that involves the facial features of the quintuplets while the quintuplets themselves are standing in the corner, Yotsuba joins. But when she notices that there is cream on Fuutaro's face, she sups it up with her mouth, all the while leaving a peck on his face. Of course, Fuutaro, his sister, and Yotsuba are all embarrassed, but Miku is indeed heavily annoyed by how her sister just one-upped her. Alright, up next are the top 5. It's time to get the most nostalgic scenes. 
私も友達作り頑張らないとえー、<笑> No.5 Even a smile can sometimes be deadly. Hishiro calls Olga and tells him that both him and her have been called to the staff room. But when they are about to go leave, Olga tells her that she shouldn't be too formal with him. She should call him Kazukun. And that is exactly what she does next. She calls him Kazukun right in front of Kairu, the girl who loves Olga. Not only that, When she and Kairu meet eyes, she tries to force a smile in order to make a better impression on her, but fails miserably. Truth be told, Hiroshiro can't even smile to save her life. In the end, Kairu took it negatively, and it ended in a heavily emotional dilemma for Kairu. <laughs> Number 4. Mikasa is mad. Both Eren and Historia are taking a stroll together, all the while carrying some stuff for the new orphanage Historia established. But when Mikasa sees them getting so lovey dovey, even though they are just having a normal talk, she looks at them with a classic poker face, takes whatever Eren was carrying, and tells Historia that Eren is tired from the experiment. Mikasa was mad. She was really, really bad. Number 3. Shitoge is a classic tsundere. Since both Shitoge and Ichigo are supposedly dating, it is important for them to at least act like a couple so that a war does not break out between their people. However, for a discreet amount of time, Shitoge was acting unusual. She was indeed quite jealous. She even rejected the role of Juliet in their school play, and later, when they are having a conversation, she acts like she is fed up with him, proclaims that both of them are just strangers, aren't they? And how this whole thing about faking love has become too convoluted. Little did Ichigo know, she was just saying that her true feelings weren't anything like that, and yet he ended up taking her word for it, and realizes that it was only he who thought they were close. And so, He takes it further beyond and attempts to make her feel good by bluntly repeating the things she said with a little touch here and there. Even though she didn't want to hear that at all, it was something else that she wanted him to say. Ichigo tried to care for her by saying what he thought she would want to hear, but it backfired. Shitoge lands a solid slap on his face, and the whole school is shocked. Ichigo wasn't in the wrong, Shitoge was just too much of a tsundere. Number 2. No one can resist Iroham's charm. Iroha tries to seduce Hachiman into answering a question right in front of Yui and Yakino. She takes on the persona of a charming, cheerful maiden and asks Hachiman if he is dating someone right now, to which he gulped and answered no. Hiki went silent and even admitted to himself that this almost gave him a heart attack. It wasn't that what she asked was anything unusual, it's how she asked. But Yui and Yokino then look at him with a not so amused expression on their face. What was to come was the third season. <laughs> Number 1. Hancock won't lose. As Luffy is satisfying his appetite, Hancock asks if she can learn more about him, and so Luffy starts by telling her the names of his nakama. Hancock suddenly reacts to Nami and Robin's name and totally hallucinates Luffy telling her that they can't be together because he already has Nami and Robin. Hancock braces herself and says she won't lose, all the while spilling a horrifyingly amount of tea out of the cup. Meanwhile, our boy Luffy had no clue what she was talking about. What an alpha male. Number 
So there you go guys, these were the top 10 anime jealous moments. Press that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and leave a comment saying I subscribe and I'll personally reply to your comment. This list was composed of different types of jealousies that we often see in anime. Some of them are hilarious, some of them are serious, while some of them are quite deadly. If you have something to add to this list, you've been ordered by Leo Lux to do just that. Well then, I'll see you guys on my next video.